Hey Brain Police, it's Booty Jim, and uh, I don't respond to you because you annoy me. Um, maybe with the Chomsky video a little bit, but you know, nothing horrible. <laughs> but I gotta ask you, do you own some Apple Groves? Or do uh, have the anarcho capitalists been investing in apple groves? <laughs> because you guys use apples a lot in your examples. It's always apples. I'm gonna trade my apples to this guy. I'm gonna grow some apples. <laughs> I'm betting you don't have any apples. So uh, now, seriously though, I you know, and I, the reason I keep g getting at this is you know, one, the examples are not very analogous to the real world. Um, we're not talking about, um, hey, you know, Joe the farmer grew 20 apples <laughs> and we want to give five to this old lady. Um, not what we're talking about here. And, uh, and I think that uh, abstract thinking has its uh, importance and its time and place. But I don't think its time and place is in this discussion that we're having because I think we can get lost and sidetracked and... I don't think it's at all clear. I would love for you to bring your examples to the real world. Um, like I said, in a, in a world with plenty of food and housing, um, can we feed and house everybody? Is there any reason that one human should own 10,000 homes? Um, there's enough food. Can we feed everybody? Or is it just inevitable that we're going to have to have about 30,000 people a day, a day die of malnutrition? Is that just a necessary evil? Um, and if so, why? Um, and can we provide medical care? Can we? A lot of countries do it. Most of what we would call the advanced world, the civilized world, provides free medical care to everybody. So. You know, I ask these questions, they're serious questions. Moreover, I think what's more important is, you know, it's one thing to talk about um, property in an abstract sense. It's another thing to talk about it in the real world. When we have these tens of thousands of people dying of starvation, and we know that these companies have the food. Now, I could see, you know, rationing, uh, you know, not everybody's going to get a Nintendo. <laughs> um, but in a world with enough food, is it l right that the owners of that food, whatever mega corporation they might happen to be, do they have the right to dump that grain in the ocean as they do? Do they have the right to dump that milk into the drain? Do they? I mean, it's theirs, you know. Um, do they have that right? Is that your idea of property rights? That you could have food that could feed a, a hungry person rather than give it to them. You don't need it. You're, you've got a full belly. You're not going to sell it to anybody. And you're going to dump it into the trash. Is that your right? Because I don't want to live in a world where people have those kinds of rights. Because if there's someone hungry, I think it's the human thing to do to feed them if you have the ability. I think that's a universal human feeling. So I'd just like to hear you talk on that because I really think we do a disservice to this conversation when we talk in such abstract terms. Real people are dying, and yet we have the resources to address those problems. You know, we just wasted two trillion dollars now, I think, in Iraq. Um, <laughs> can you imagine what we could have done with those resources? With those, think of, imagine those 150,000 American soldiers doing things in this country. Rather than going around killing people, um, maybe they're teaching people or learning to be doctors. Or <laughs> Can you imagine? I'm just saying, can you imagine like a better world? Because what I hear from you guys, uh, from the anarcho capitalists, you know, it's everybody's got to have a gun, you know, KO, K Biomech and, and Thor's Miter Saw and uh, Corey, 
got to have a gun. That's like the first step. Like, you know, this Old West where we're all going to be packing. Um, I hear this idea that, hey, we're not, you know, really, we're not excited about the old lady starving, but <laughs> it really? <laughs> like, but we have enough food. <laughs> oh, we, you know, she just needs access to it. We have the housing. She just needs access to it. She doesn't need you to do anything for her. Just don't call the cops on her when she goes and gets her food. Or when she stays in her apartment, even though she can't pay the rent right now. Can we do it? Because from what I hear, I mean, you know, the Wild West and old old people starving to death, and we just shrug our shoulders. I don't, come on, talk to me, brain, please. 